One of the most common questions for people to ask when taking a look at Aerospy 3 and doing an installation is which edition should I use? There are actually three different editions. There's the Enterprise, the Trial, and the Community. Uh, all three of these have something in common, which are the following features. The standard features for key value store. Uh, these are all the features well known in Aerospike 2. Uh, there's also the ability to do scans, queries on the data, uh, also to use user-defined functions or uh, functions that are run uh, on the server side. Uh, aggregations, large data types which are still in pre-release uh, but available for use if you do want to test those out, and any of the different client SDKs that we have. The main differences between these uh, are, are listed in the table below. You can see that the Enterprise Edition includes an unlimited number of nodes, uh, an unlimited amount of data, it also supports the cross data center replication feature or XDR and does require a commercial license so you do have to sign a license for this. The trial edition which is free for 30 days also includes uh, the uh, an unlimited number of nodes and an unlimited number of uh, gigabytes of data. It also does support XDR but it's only good for 30 days. Uh, and then finally the community edition which is our free tier includes support for up to two nodes, uh, 200 gigabytes of data, but does not support XDR. However, you're free to use this product for as long as you want without any other restrictions. And again, all of the client SDKs are included with all the different editions. Now, one of the notes that you may want to be aware of is that uh, if you are uh, looking at Aerospike 3 and have used Aerospike 2 in the past, that Aerospike 2 is forward compatible. All of the clients are forward compatible with the Aerospike 3 server. So you can see on this table a list of all the different features that are supported by each of the different languages. So for instance, if you're using C, C++, Java, or C Sharp, uh, the, all of the different features of Aerospike 3 are supported. However, if you're taking a look at some of the other languages like LibEvent or Node.js, uh, only the key value uh, features are supported. Uh, so you can continue to use those clients even with Aerospike 3. Just be aware you won't be able to use all the different features. Now, one of the other differences between Aerospike 2 and 3 is the level of OS support. So, with uh, Aerospike 2, there is additional support for Red Hat 5, CentOS 5, and also for Ubuntu 10.04. Uh, if you do have an absolute requirement to be on one of these operating systems, you will have to use Aerospike 2 rather than 3. Otherwise, you're better off using Aerospike 3. So if you're ready with that, please join us in watching the next video on the pre-installation of the server.